It's the keystone of the modern kitchen, Dick. Not a place where work is done. It does the work. It benefits every member of the family. Offers something to every human being. It appeals to every age, whether they are nine weeks old or 90 years young. This need exists in every home where people live and eat. There's only one reason why the housewife has put up with the inadequate and primitive tools with which these jobs have been done over the years. Had nor knew of a better way. Remember though, she has labeled these jobs as the most hated, monotonous, and non-constructive of all housework. But today, thousands of housewives are enjoying complete freedom from these unsatisfactory and inefficient methods. No longer do they have to submit to this three times a day drudgery of hand dishwashing to wash away their youth and charm in the greasy waters of a dishpan. Why this disagreeable inconvenience of handling garbage from the plates to the sink colander and then out into the backyard garbage can doesn't even exist. The magic of electricity has changed all that and for only a couple of pennies a day. Now, the GE electric sink with the dishwasher and disposal washes all the dishes, the pots and pans, easier and cleaner in only a few minutes a day. It disposes of all of the food waste immediately before it even becomes garbage, with none of the fuss and the muss and the bother. You'll be interested in this report of a sale that came to my desk the other day. It tells the story of an installation made in the home of an old southern gentleman in his 70s, John Wells. His wife died several years ago, just after their daughter, uh, uh, Norma, moved north with her husband. They have a little boy and Grandpa is certainly wrapped up in that land. The boy went down south to visit for a month just recently, after his mother and father moved into their new home. Well, one morning, as, uh... Now you watch that! Just one game, Grandpa. Not one move until you eat those prunes. Come on, son, get after them. Mailman's late this morning. Now see here, Marcia, there isn't a meal in this house that I don't get a dirty knife, fork, or spoon. Now you either wash those dishes clean, or I'm going to get someone who can. Here. Well, when I wash the dishes, they is clean. That is, if I have enough hot water. You have hot water. There's plenty of it in the rain. And you've got plenty of coal. That losers of yours are just too doggone lazy to keep the fire up. That's right. He ain't no good. But, Lordy, I can't keep that fire going like a steamboat in this hot weather. Well, that kitchen is hotter than a bake oven. The sweat just pulls off. Never mind about that. And what's the matter with the refrigerator? Look at that butter. It's so soft it ruined. Well, that ice just naturally melts in that kitchen same as me. Oh, Lordy, that's the toast. Well, you keep me here talking all... Oh, everybody must have got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. <laughs>
Well, here's bad news. Your mother writes that I've got to bring you home. You'll come along, won't you, Grant? Now, son, you don't suppose I'd let you go up there by yourself? It's clean. <gasps> son, what's this electric kitchen your mother writes about? Why, it's an electric kitchen. Surely you know what an electric kitchen is, Graham. Well, I don't know what an electric kitchen is, Graham. What is it? You ought to know that. It does all the work by electricity. It's got a machine that washes all of the dishes. Honest, it does. And it's got an electric pig. Electric pig? Don't cook the way we do. Son, I think you've been reading some of these comic magazines. Honest, Grandpa, the electric pig eats all the garbage. Well, well, and a machine for washing your dishes. Sure, it's well, and ain't I glad that we got it. Don't say ain't. Your mother think you picked it up from me. Well, I'm glad we got it. Well, why? Why? I won't have to wash dishes when I get grown up. Lots of kids' mothers make them wash the dishes, and do they hate it. You know, just before I came away, Eddie Moore had a birthday party, but he hated it. Hated his birthday party? Sure. He had to help wash the dishes after it was over. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wells, before I forget this, I'll have to have three dollars for a new ice book. What, again? I bought one just last week. Well, this hot weather takes a lot of ice. And remember, Judge Tracy and Mr. Sanford was over here night before last. And them men need lots of ice to keep them cool. Oh, all right. Here. Now here's three dollars. And uh, before I forget it, how am I fixed for shirts and things? I got to go away tomorrow. I'll be gone about a week. I got to take this boy home. Now, you see that I have plenty of clean things, and you better get the boy's things washed up, too. Yes, sir, Mr. Wills. Gee, it sure is going to be lonesome around here when you go, Mr. Little Jack. She you looks just like your ma. Ma, you ain't had no breakfast at all. You ain't drunk your milk. You drink that milk, young man. Remember what your mother taught you. I want you to look big and strong when I take you back. So your mother let you come down here again. I don't want to drink it. You don't? Well, why not? I don't want to tell you, Grandpa, but it's sour. Well, sir, I didn't know it was sour. You know I wouldn't... I wouldn't bring that child no more. Don't stand there, Hog. Well, go get some fresh no, milk. No, I the best I can. That kitchen is boiling hot. I'm just wasting away here. Hog, don't stand there, Hog. Well, get I, some fresh milk. Well, what y'all expect me to do? I do the best I can. I'm... Son, how long has your mother been doing without a girl to help? Oh, she left when we put in the electric kitchen. Then your mother does. All her work now? Sure, but it ain't, isn't work now. The electricity does it all. Oh, come on, Grandpa. You're not thinking about your move. I'm going to skin you alive if you don't watch out. All right. What do you think of this? Son, there's no need to tell your mother that I asked you, but this is best between ourselves, you understand? You ever hear them talking about your father's business? Things are going all right with them, all? Why, sure, Grandpa. My dad's the smartest man in the world. <laughs> oh, I know that. But I don't like this business of your mother trying to get along without a maid. I don't like it a bit. Your mother was a beautiful girl when she married your father. And I'm not going to have her wearing herself out with housework. There's no reason for it. My movie. Thought you had me. Gonna skin me alive. Well, it's your move now, young fella. And say, you better get upstairs and get your things packed. Get them packed this morning. Get everything to give. Well, you'll bring the checkerboard along, won't you, Grant? Why, of course. Gee, it'd be swell to play on the train. Yes, the 
is gone. And I'm telling you, I'm mighty glad to get rid of that Mr. Wells for a few days. Ever since the missus died, he's been poking his nose into the kitchen, complaining, not doing nothing. And the kitchen ain't no place for a man. Well, I reckon I'll get a little rest for a few days. Now, you be careful. Don't you drop it on my fresh wash floor. Between you and that ice man, right, right. if it ain't peeling and paring and cooking, it's cleaning up. And if it ain't cleaning up, it's peeling and paring and cooking. wants dishes washed, they's got to expect a few of them to get busted. <laughs> How's my boy? <laughs> well, Dad, how do you like it? Why, this is fine, Norman. Fine. Oh, well, we're crazy about it. You should be. <laughs> Gee, Dad, it's wonderful having you here. It's grand to be here, too. <laughs> I can skin him alive at checkers any day. Oh, he yes, cannot. I no. can oh, you cannot. <laughs> oh, now, boys, I'll bet you're all starved, aren't you? Well, dinner's all ready. Oh, you have a maid again, eh? No, Dad, not a maid. Just a general electric kitchen. Grandpa won't believe that we've got an electric kitchen. He <laughs> won't. Well, well, darling, you run along with Daddy and get ready for dinner. Okay. <laughs> well, Dad... Well, Dad, it's wonderful to have you here. But tell me, how's everything back home? All right. All right? I don't know. It seems to me you're looking a little thin. I don't think Marsh is feeding you properly. Well, I never felt better in my life. Hmm? Oh, I have to get after Marsh here every so often. I declare, Norma, I can't get over the way you look. Well, I declare you're looking younger. <laughs> oh, Dad. I'm not fooling you really do. <laughs> Well, I'm living in a way that keeps me young. Well, something certainly is agreeing with you. But down your, your letters have worried me a little. My letters? But why, Dad? Well, when you wrote me, I had to let your maid go and... Oh. No, you don't have to keep anything from me. Well, we've always confided in each other. Well, we understand each other. Well, tell me, is Jack's business really going along all right? Why, fine, Dad, why? Well, here you are, doing without a me. Dad, blame it, Norma, I won't have a daughter of mine skimping herself. Dad, I'm not skimping myself. I'm not a drudge, but let me explain. Now, that's just like you. You always could put up a brave front. Norm, I want you to listen to your father. You have a family now. You and Jack have responsibilities. Oh, I'm not going to lecture you. Here, I want you to take this. It'll, it'll pay for maid for a couple of years at least. Dad, have you gone mad? I check for a thousand dollars. I... Oh, Dad, you old darling. <laughs> But I won't take it. We don't need it. Now, Norma, I don't want you to be stubborn with me about now, this. Now, Dad, let me explain to you. Well, I tell you, I'll explain to you after dinner. We don't need this. Jack and I are putting more money in the bank every month than we ever did. And I can prove it to now, you. Now, Norma, I want you to take this no, check. Now, I, I made no, this up. No. Enough of that. Now, you go on upstairs and get washed up for dinner. I'm going to put on a new dress. This is an occasion. See you in a minute, Dad. Okay, boys, dinner's on the table. Come and get it. Well, 
well, Dad. I hope you're as hungry as I am. Well, I'm hungry enough. Whoever told you you could cook? <laughs> come on. She's come come along, little Jack. Oh, skinny hell, I've a checker. 